Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and welcome to the series of reasons for failing the driving test series. This is episode 4 and in this video we're going to talk about not moving off safely. Many learners, they're failing the test because they don't move off safely. So in this video we're going to talk about not move off safely. Hopefully you will learn from this and hopefully you won't be the person who is failing for not moving off safely in the driving test. Let's start the lesson. In your driving test, the driving examiner will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left and then move off safely. The examiner want to see after you stopped on the left, can you move off safely? Also, the examiner will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left behind a car close to it and then move off to see whether if you could move off safely. Also, there is one maneuver you might have to do, which is stop on the right hand side, reverse to a car and then move off safely. Why? Because the examiner want to see if you could move off safely from the right hand side and then come to your normal driving position and drive on. So these are the situation where the examiner will ask you to stop and then move off to see if you could move off safely. So let's talk about when you stop somewhere safe on the left, okay? So the examiner said for you to stop somewhere safe on the left. So you did. You stopped, you looked at the mirrors, you put the signal on and you stopped. Humbrick on, neutral and you stopped, okay? And now the examiner said for you to move off. The reason learners are failing is either because they don't look at the blind spot before they move off or they did look at the blind spot but there was a car coming which they didn't see or maybe they did see but the gap wasn't big enough and as they moved off the car has to slow down for them so this is one of the reasons why the learners are failing number one for not looking at the blind spot many learners actually they fail the driving test for moving off safely because they don't look at the blind spot so number one make sure look at the blind spot number two as you move off if there is a car make sure the gap is there for you to go if you go front of them and they slow down for you, you will fail your test for moving off safely. The other one is the examiner might ask you to stop on the right hand side of the road, reverse to a car back and then they will ask you to move off to the left and come back to your normal driving position. And this is where many learners they fail. Why? Because they need to look ahead and they need to look who's coming over there. So you have to look both sides. If there is a car coming or a car coming and there is no enough space for you to go or the gap isn't big enough, don't go yet. Wait until you find the right gap. It doesn't mean to say that the gap is there and you're not going. All I'm saying is that you have to find the right gap, okay? If you don't, you go and there is a car coming and they have to slow down for you, you will fail your test for that, okay? So make sure the gap is there for you to go. The other thing the examiner might ask you to do is to do an emergency stop, okay? So the examiner will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left and then they're going to say, now we're going to do an exercise of emergency stop, okay? Now, after the emergency stop, many learners, they don't look all around before they go. This is really important because you're going to be in the middle of your lane, make sure after you've done the emergency stop, obviously put the umbrella on neutral and you wait and then when the examiner said for you to move off make sure you look all around blind spot and then you move off okay so before you move off look all around including the top mirror side mirror blind spot and then you move off many learners after the emergency stop they fail because they don't do a full check the blind spot and the top mirror to see who's coming at the back okay so after the emergency stop make sure you look all around including your blind spot. So just to recap, when you stop on the left, before you move off, make sure the blind spot is checked properly and make sure if there is a car coming, you have enough gap for you to go. Don't miss the car. Also, don't go front of someone that they have to slow down for you, okay? If you stop on the right hand side, before you move off again, make sure you look at the front and at the back and make sure there's no one coming if there is make sure the gap is enough for you to go so that they don't have to slow down for you after the emergency stop make sure you look all around including your blind spot top mirror to see behind before you go don't go without looking full circle after the emergency stop 
So these are the reasons why the learners are failing for not doing and they are moving off. So hopefully this video will now help you to understand why the learners are failing for not moving off safely. Okay, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and don't forget to watch the next episode on reasons for failing the driving test and hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.